Law enforcement officers taking a knee last night outside the Des Moines police station diffused a very tense situation. It resonated with a lot of people. But KCCI's Chris Gothner shows us why some say gestures need to be followed up with action. And Steve, we are live at the police station where all this happened. The group of faith leaders are actually gathering right now along with Governor Reynolds and Mayor County here to support police. Now, the folks I talked to say there has been a lot of talk of change when protests spring up over police brutality, but all this shows that the time is now. You can see all the police officers. Officers taking a knee Sunday helped calm a crowd protesting the death of George Floyd and police brutality against black Americans. But later that night, young protesters made it clear that wasn't enough. Kidwell cannot be to be working within the system. Kidwell cannot be to say, oh, I hope the cops are meal with us today. They came out there because they wanted to be heard. Pastor Rob Johnson was one of the community leaders on the front line. So was Al Womble. Both say the youth need to be heard and change needs to come quickly. A lot of times we put a Band-Aid on a problem and say that's good enough. We can't do that this time. They say serious police reform is needed now. Personally, what I would like to see is police officers live in the communities where they police. Get to know the people who live in those communities as their neighbors and their friends. We need to make sure that these pretextual stops are done with. We need oversight. Wobble and Johnson say oversight needs to come from the community. They called for action to be taken on racial profiling and de-escalation and more training on mental health. They say elected officials need to step up and not let the actions of a few outweigh calls for justice. Don't speak on the looting and the rioting if you don't speak on the murder of George Floyd. Don't speak on the looting and the rioting if you don't speak on the murder of Trayvon Martin. And as these other pastors pray right here and clap, Johnson also pointed out that there are a lot of changes that need to be made outside the criminal justice system. He says food deserts, predatory loans, and more funding for mental health and education can also solve some of these more systemic issues.